Are you getting frustrated because you can't sex your bean beetles? Is it cramping your sex class's style? Well, welcome to the Bean Beetle Sexing Instructional Video. In this video, we're going to go through how to identify male and female individuals of the bean beetle Callosabrachus maculatus. There will be still shots and videos for practice, so get ready! Callosabrachus maculatus is a type of weevil beetle in the insect order Coleoptera. These insects can be identified by the hard shell-like body that encases the wings. In these bean beetles, the differences in the outer shell are used to differentiate between sexes. Sexual dimorphism, or a phenotypic difference between males and females within a species, is often used to determine sex. These differences can range from subtle to extreme. What could be the purpose of these differences? The answer isn't always clear, but these phenotypic differences can play a role in the process of sexual selection. For example, in some cases, the larger male, the most colorful male, or the male with the largest horns will be the one most likely to pass their genes on to the next generation. Sometimes the female chooses the male based on these attributes, and other times, the phenotypic trait itself can give one male a distinct advantage over other males, thus allowing him to contribute to the future gene pool more successfully. It really is all about sex. Differences in coloration, shape, size, or structure are all examples of ways in which males and females of the same species can differ. Let's take a quick look at a few examples. Peacocks are a prime example of the differences in colors between males and females. The difference in plumage color is vast, with the male's vibrant colors rendering him more susceptible to predation, yet the females have selected males with these bright colors and thus the bright colors in males are distinctive. Humans are also considered a sexually dimorphic species. Regarding some basic anatomical differences, females are typically shorter with larger hips and breasts, while males are taller with larger muscles and broader chests. Cervids or deer, elk, and moose, are very well known by their antlers. Females lack antlers, thus making the antlers a distinctive characteristic of the males. And females will often only select the males with the largest antlers as mates. So here we are faced with this question. Are we looking at a male or a female bean beetle? Using what you know about sexual dimorphism and your own observations, you can easily tell the difference. Females will generally be a bit larger than the males and have an extra area near the end of the abdomen, whereas the males appear to have a truncated and boxy abdominal shape. However, perhaps the most distinct difference between the sexes is the variation in coloration and patterns. The female will have an X or double semicircle shape design on her back, while the males will have nothing but the brown color. See the differences yet? Now for some practice. Let's see if you can tell the difference between the males and the females. Take a few seconds to look at these images and determine which is the male and which is the female. The beetle on the left is a male, while the beetle on the right is a female. Still unsure? Let's do another round. This one is a bit trickier, as both are males. Notice that neither has an X pattern on the back, and both appear smaller in size. Now, let's try one more time. With so many beetles to look at, that round was even more challenging. The four beetles indicated by the blue circles are females, identifiable as a result of their comparatively large size and the X pattern on their backs, while the four beetles indicated by the yellow circles are males, as they are relatively small and boxy and boast only the brown color on their backs. And now for some moving pictures. As you'll be working with live beetles, it's important to understand how to identify your subjects of study as they're scuttling around. Hopefully, these exercises will help familiarize you with this process. Look at the video for a few seconds and count how many males and how many females you see. All of the beetles in the blue circles are females, and all of the beetles in the yellow circles are males. How close did you get? Let's try another plate, shall we? Just like the previous example, all of the beetles in the blue circles are females, and all of the beetles in the yellow circles are males. See? It's easier already. Just remember when you're starting your projects that females have an X or double semicircle shape on their backs, are generally larger than the males, and have an additional partition on the rear of the abdomen, while males are smaller than the females, have no pattern on their backs, and are squarish in shape without an additional component to the abdomen. Hopefully this video has helped you learn more about the diversity of life as well as how to determine the different sexes of bean beetles. Once you begin to recognize the inherent differences between the members of this sexually dimorphic species, determining the sexes of your bean beetle should come easily. Good luck with your sexing!